Hello, welcome to Tech Talk. In this video, we will talk about how we render our uh, document file in a React application. In my last video, we will talk about how we render document file from a public URL. Also, in our last video, as you can see, we use this type of uh, URL which is publicly accessible and successfully we demonstrated how we can render publicly available document. It can be Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF. So if you need, I put the video link in uh, description section. In this video, uh, uh, we will talk about a uh, little bit about API because this might be uh, this might be the scenario that uh, you need to render uh, your uh, document uh, from your secure API. So uh, React Doc Viewer uh, package provide us provision how we can uh, render document uh, from the secure API. So Let's uh, do that and jump into the Visual Studio Code. So uh, I am taking a previous example uh, in which we use public uh, public URL. So I am going to remove that. And for demo purpose, I have created an API. So I can show here. So this is uh, a secure API. Uh, for that, I am passing token here. So let me check that. Okay. So token is expired. So let's generate a new token. So let me call auth API. And uh, auth API will provide me token. Let me copy that. And uh, put this in a view PDF API. So So this is the uh, secure API which return us a PDF document. So let's check that by changing something in uh, uh, tokens that it is secure or not. Yes. So it is secure. If I if I am trying to pass invalid token, it is not providing me correct output. So let me correct that. And then call it again okay so <coughs> first condition is in this uh, API uh, this API should be course enabled so if uh, in case if your application is hosted in different URL so in that case course uh, error should not generate here I am going to paste that URL simply and uh, the same in case of pdf i have to pass file tab as pdf here and let me name it as uh, demo.pdf as a document name and let's do that try to run it and let's see let me open okay yes so as you were seeing that uh, previously docx file was loading but now uh, failed to load pdf file why reason is because the url which i am passing this time is a secure api and uh, <coughs> doc viewer need token uh, to access the output of this api how we can pass token to this package doc viewer which is part of react doc viewer package so i will tell you how i can pass token uh, my api token to this doc viewer component so let's move to the documentation part of this uh, package 
so here is the documentation let's go down and uh, look into this one by one uh, displaying globes custom render custom file render theme custom prefetch yes so uh, we need to pass this prefetch as get because we are going to call get api so this uh, props we have to pass as get and uh, in next uh, paragraph uh, here it is mentioned that how we can pass a uh, request header so let me copy that here uh, header is the object and uh, here uh, whatever token key our api accept we can set that and uh, here we can set our token uh, and if I, we have any additional request header then we can set here a number of request header and the same object we need to pass in a request header props of doc viewer component so let me copy that and uh, paste it here here let's go into the postman and uh, our uh, our request header name is a small x auth token so let's do that replace this as x auth token and then copy the token it. now uh, let me copy that another request header which is content type and we need to set it as application pdf because i am trying to render pdf document so let me do that so now my headers object is ready and now i need to pass this to react talk viewer how we can pass we need to do two things first is prefetch method as get and second is request header as header so let me copy that and pass it to my doc viewer component let's copy that save it and let's try to load in browser let me refresh the page yeah so as you can see uh, our secure API uh, output is rendering here. Now, <coughs> uh, in the same way, we can do the same thing with the with the, some other document like uh, uh, like JPG, PNG, PDF, etc. TXT also. But exception is for Microsoft Office document like docx doc file excel file pptx file the reason is let's look it look into the code of uh, react doc viewer so this is the github repository let's go inside this and uh, here i am trying to explain the process how a uh, word excel powerpoint document which is publicly available can be rendered in uh, react doc viewer so let me go inside the src folder and then uh, there are there is a renderers uh, function uh, folder in which plenty of uh, renderers are there uh, which type of files are supported by uh, react doc viewer inside this we we'll go into ms doc and ms doc inside ms doc there is index.tsx file let's open that here uh, here you can see that uh, whatever you are we are providing uh, that current document is coming here as a object and this is the uri property so as you can see here uh, we we pass URI from uh, public URL from here so the same public URL goes here and after calling and 
after encoding that URL, we are passing this uh, URL to embed.aspx page, which is the part of view office caps.live.com. So this is a ASPX page which is uh, which Microsoft has hosted and it accept only publicly available URL. So there is no way to pass token uh, as of now. There is no way uh, to pass uh, token to this uh, page. So this is not uh, possible as of now. Uh, using secure api to render word excel and powerpoint document with the help of this uh, package so this is the thing uh, this is the drawback of this package uh, <coughs> and apart from that uh, if this video is helpful for you uh, as you can see uh, you are able to render a pdf file in react application so if this is helpful for you, uh, please uh, like and comment and subscribe my channel, Tech Talk. Thank you very much for watching this video.